We're on r slash incel tier, so that means we're gonna try and make this a very wholesome video, if that's even possible. These sorts of videos sort of terrify me a little bit. I don't go on this subreddit very much because it's one of those subreddits that if you look at for too long, it can 100% ruin your day. So yeah, this is gonna be as wholesome as I can possibly make it. Enjoy, guys. I don't wanna use up a woman who got passed around by all of these guys? Well, that's okay. I don't think anyone wants a man whose emotional intelligence level is thinking that a woman's value lies in being a body used and owned like an object. What's that? You're not interested in me. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Be me. Have a girlfriend. Hear about Andrew Tate. Decide to look him up. Really like his advice. Decide to try it on girlfriend to gain her respect. Be with her one day. Tell her that I cheated on her. I didn't. She is understandably upset. Tell her, yeah, got drunk, banged some girl. Don't remember her name. If you want to leave, you can leave. She actually does. Heartbroken. Text her every day telling her it wasn't real. And I was just a following advice I got online to be cool. I tell her that I look up to this guy so she'll see what I mean. Pretty sure she blocked me. All our friends hate me now. What the hell do I do? She was my first girlfriend. I literally have nothing without her. How could you be so influenced <laughs> to do something like that? Like, is there no radar in your head that is like, oh, wait a second, maybe that's not a good idea or maybe that's an awful advice? How do you hear something and then go, oh yeah, I'm gonna go try that on the person I love? <laughs> oh my god. The good thing is, this probably isn't real. I really hope it isn't. I am not a freaking woman. Why doesn't my mother understand that? I've already explained to her a thousand times that I have a ding dong and not a JJ. She always asks me to clean up my room, but I don't want to do it. That is to say, why? If I don't want to, I won't do it, period. I don't care if I'm lazy. If she wants my room to be clean, then why doesn't she do it by herself? Nobody forces her. Women were made to clean. I'm not a woman and I never will be. Oh. <laughs> Imagine living under somebody's roof and treating them like this. That's so sad. I will never get a boyfriend. Oh, you can have me if you like. No. I will never get a girlfriend. Oh, sure you will. I believe in you. Is that an offer? No. <laughs> Wait. Wait, you made eye contact with me? Does that mean you love me? Women are painted as the bad guys for not having sympathy for incels. I don't feel sorry for misogynistic men who fantasize about ending me because they can't get laid. One. 100%. Anger and resentment and like hostility towards women isn't gonna make them interested in you. Believe it or not. Oh my god, this one. This is a major part of why I believe women should not ride horses or bicycles or motorbikes. It's weird and it's disgusting because women are sexually aroused and stimulated by these activities. <laughs> Does this one fit on this subreddit? I feel like it's sort it does. Like, oh, you know, that's why people ride horses because it feels good. <laughs> so ridiculous and it's so funny that this is something that people care about. We need to spread awareness about this horse riding conspiracy. <laughs> Either my dad misspelled food or he turned into an incel. On my way home with Foyd. <laughs> oh, that's so wholesome. If your dad meant to say food, that is. Adult movies and anime, both are giving their viewers unrealistic expectations of women. Yeah, most anime shows women as kind and compassionate and likeable. Wow. <laughs> like, of course somebody said that though. 2D women are better. <laughs> okay, buddy. Hey, rich 6 foot 5 Chad. It's me that came from a broken home, no personality but being hot queen that you've been waiting for. 
or time to marry me and spoil me as I do nothing all day at your penthouse. Armour, you do realise that hot, high-class women exist, right? You can be my mistress for a few weeks until I replace you with someone hotter and younger. Is this how people see themselves? <laughs> That's one thing that I've noticed about posts like on this subreddit and similar subreddits. They're just fantasies. And if it isn't stuff like this, it's a fantasy in the sense when they jump to conclusions about what women think and how they think and that they all just want a six foot five chad. Like this isn't reality. You know, it's like creating this world that you hate that just exists in your head. <laughs> Super confusing. Dear incels, if you want a trad wife, you have to be a trad husband. This means making a salary to support a house, a wife, and probably two or more kids, also vacations and a pet, have a stable job, preferably in business or physical labour, go to work, come home and help children with homework because you're the one with the education, support children's sports and hobbies, dress well and keep up appearances, be able to handle any problem with a calm level mind, get along with the in-laws, get her father's support and respect. So yeah, get to work boys. Wait, you you mean I need to contribute to the relationship and a trad wife wouldn't just immediately want me? Oh, <laughs> no thanks. Well, I'm sarcastic in these videos like 90% of the time. Some cats have very rough tongues, but some have very soft, warm and wet tongues. Cats are great emotional support animals and they lick you or groom your hair to bond. Dogs are freaking, um, something fuel. They are so smarter, but you have to walk them and you have to be out and about. And as an incel, I don't want to be out and about seeing voids in couples. Yeah, like this comment says, Damn, it's sad when your life is centred around sex so much that it prevents you from getting a pet because you can't stand going outside and seeing couples. Ridiculous. Sending love to men who are struggling mentally, suffering from self-harm sort of thoughts, are scared to speak up, are in therapy, are feeling alone and feel dismissed by society. Oh my god, yeah, like we can sit here and, you know, laugh at how ridiculous this stuff is, but at the end of the day, you do hope that these sorts of people get to a place where they don't think like this anymore, because oh my god it doesn't help anyone thinking like this. Incels, are the Chad and Tyrone with us in this room? <laughs> and straight back to a light-hearted post. Wait, so where where are Stacy and Chad and Tyrone? Oh right, they don't exist. Oh, everyone hates me because I'm ugly. Hey. Shut the freak up, you. You know what? Freak you, S-word. Yeah. So true, though. I feel like most of the time, it's not ugly on the outside that's the problem. It's ugly on the inside. Sure, buddy. Feminism is the reason you can't get laid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moving on. I'm leaving the forum, I'm finding joy in life. Oh my god, here we go. I've been leaving the house more, surrounding myself in nature, working hard on my education, and not worrying about friendships or girls. Life is good, lads. I urge you all to find something that you're passionate about and take no notice of what normies think. I hope you all can get out of this dark hole, wallowing in misery and hate. It's letting society get its way with us. Despite how some people might act, there is still some good left in this world. Goodbye, the forum. Oh, that's so awesome. I love seeing stuff like this. And like, I've had this sort of stuff in the comments of our videos as well. You know, like I used to be an incel, but I'm not anymore. It's so awesome to see. Makes me so happy. And yeah, I feel like on that wholesome note, we should end the video there and read something just as wholesome. Wholesome memes. I'm not so smart or rich or pretty, but I try to be kind. Oh my god, this is so, <laughs> like, the complete opposite of what we've been reading today. But yeah, that's beautiful that you always try to be kind. I had to babysit my daughter's kitten, and she requested proof that he was okay, so I sent her this. <laughs> very, very okay. Sniffing my ear, actually. Me when I ask for something, but I forget what it's called. Oh my god, that's so annoying. 
annoying. The worst time is when you never remember it <laughs> and you just have to move on with your life knowing that you're not going to figure this out. It always makes me so sad. I'm so glad my car came with a pup holder. Aww, <laughs> I knew that's what they were for. I'd love to put Chico in my cup holders if only he wasn't like half the size of me. Bro is huge. I don't think that was too bad. I feel like we did a pretty good job today of keeping that as wholesome as possible, if that even is possible on a subreddit like this. But yeah, I don't feel too terrible which is sort of amazing. The comment of the day goes to Anna Alicia. You read out the most horrible things and your videos are still so light and fun. <laughs> that is so fitting. That's almost like you commented that on this video. But thank you though, that does mean a lot to me. It's genuinely kind of hard to do that, but I'll always try my best. All right, guys, thanks again for all your support. Make sure you like and subscribe, all that fun stuff. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Day, and I'll see you next time.